Dear Gate Aspirants, in this session, let us start with moving iron instruments. What are different moving iron instruments we have? Attraction type and repulsion type. Come on engineers, tell me what is the main working principle of moving iron instrument? Moving iron instruments works on self-inductance property, self-inductance of the fixed coil. And what type of controlling we use in moving iron instruments? It is spring control. Spring control we will be using in moving iron instruments both the attraction type and repulsion type. What type of damping we go with? We go with air friction damping sir. Air friction damping. As said earlier, what is the purpose of damping? Damping will make the pointer to move with less speed so that oscillations at steady state is reduced. So what is the deflection torque equation? I am not going the derivation sir. What is the deflection torque equation? Half I square DL by D theta. Next, as said, the controlling torque is spring control. Tc equals to what? Kc into theta. At steady state, what happens? At steady state, controlling torque equals to deflection torque. Controlling torque. Kc into theta equals to half I square DL by d theta half i square dl by d theta from this what we say sir theta is proportional to i square and theta is proportional to i square proportional to v square means theta is proportional to v square what is the conclusion from this ammeter scale is non-linear even voltmeter scale is non-linear provided if this dl by d theta is assumed as constant if this dl by d theta is assumed as constant practically it is not constant sir dl by d theta if it is assumed as constant my theta is proportional to i square theta is proportional to v square scale is what scale sir non-linear scale scale is non-linear scale sir hope you all know the schematic diagram of attraction type and repulsion type you tell me is there any current produced passing through the springs is there any current that is passing through the springs? No current passes through the springs in MI instrument. Can we measure high currents? Can we measure high current? See, in PMM's instrument, we can't measure high currents. Reason, springs are the current carrying conductors. Whereas, in MI instrument, no current passes through the springs. Since there is no current in the springs, can I say that I can measure high currents? No, sir. Still, I can't measure high currents. Reason, saturation problem saturation problem this is what the graph between current versus flux as current increases flux increases increases and it comes to saturation means what is the conclusion here even by using moving iron instruments whether it is attraction type or repulsion type i can't measure high currents i can't measure high currents reason saturation problem sir current increases sir but flux is not getting increased Saturation problem because of saturation we can't measure high currents in MI instruments. Why we can't measure high currents in PMM's instruments? Springs are the current carrying conductors. That's why we can't measure high currents. So conclusion here moving iron ammeter moving iron voltmeter the maximum design we can go up to 50 amps as well as 750 volts. Moving iron ammeter and voltmeter we can design the instruments to measure safe currents up to 50 amps and 750 volts. If you want to measure more currents, obviously we go with instrument transformers. What transform sir? Instrument transformers or production transformers, CT and PT. Fine, right. Based on this, let us see one problem. Okay, done yes. Please have a look into the data. Hope it's visible to you. The inductance of A. Moving iron ammeter is expressed as L equals to 10 plus 3 theta minus theta square by 4 micro Henry where theta is deflection in radians from the zero position. Fine. The control spring is 25 into 10 power minus 6 Newton meter per radian. The deflection of the pointer again in radians in radians when the meter carries a current of 5 amps is dash. Meter carries current of 5 amps is dash. Sir, hope you all know at steady state, the controlling torque equals to deflection torque. Fine. What is Tc, sir? 
kc into theta fine sir right observe carefully what is the value of tc given here 25 into 25 into 10 power minus 6 newton meter per radian equals to what is the deflection torque equation half i square dl by d theta half what is i square it is 5 square simply let me write it as 25 half i square dl by d theta what is derivative of this dl by d theta let me show this fine yeah what is the derivative of this sir derivative of 10 with respect to theta 0 3 minus brackets 3 minus yes please theta square by 4 we can write as theta by 2 theta by 2 if you observe here so many micro henrys into 10 power minus 6 units please 10 power minus 6 newton meter newton meter you please tell me units are they getting matched at both sides no sir this is star here this is given in terms of radians means what we have to do here newton meter newton meter matches means here what we have to do is not this power dears yeah multiply this with the theta means what i am doing here tc equals to kc into theta na this is what i am doing here yes into theta so many radians here theta so many radians this radian this radian gets cancelled now newton meter newton meter units are perfectly match come on yes 10 power minus 6 10 power minus 6 gets cancelled finally what we write is 25 into theta even 25 25 gets cancelled so here theta equals to yes please the value here 3 minus 1 by 2 or 2 theta equals to 3 minus theta by 2 next 5 theta by 2 2 theta plus 5 theta by 2 5 theta by 2 equals to 3 theta equals to 6 by 5 it is 1.2 radians 1.2 radians option c is your answer option c is your answer any difficulty sir calculation takes a bit time but substituting a value direct formula here a td equals to half i square dl by d theta l equation will be given just by doing differentiation easily we can substitute and get the required answer Find yes. years next cube please a moving iron ammeter produces a full scale torque of 240 micro newton meters with a deflection of 120 degrees at a current of 10 amperes the rate of change of self inductance in micro henry per radian of the instrument at full scale is dash what is td sir td equals to half i square dl by d theta this dl by d theta he is asking for Come on, engineers. What is this? 240 micro Newton meter. 240 into 10 power minus 6 uh, equals to half into what is the value of I sir? 10 square into 100 dl by d theta. Even is asking dl by d theta in micro Henry per radians here. He is asking micro Henry per radian dl by d theta. Yes, fine. 240 into 2, 480, 480 by 100, 480 by 100, 4.8 micro Henry per radian is your DL by D theta. Option B is correct. Fine, sir. Let's go with next Q, please. Right. He is asking for the time constant extension ranges of the instrument. So let me go into the theoretical part first. Theoretical part. Technically, MI instrument can be represented as like this. Technically, MI instrument can be represented as like this. We call this as RM. We call this as LM. Now I want to extend this meter to measure higher currents. To measure higher currents. For that, what we do is usually we connect only the shunt resistance if we connect only the shunt resistance 
one more problem coming into picture what is that frequency problem coming into picture i repeat my statement as like in pmm's instrument if you want to extend the range of the instrument if you connect only the shunt resistance yes you will be thinking the problem is solved but my meter this design is depending on frequency this design is depending on frequency so since my design is dependent on frequency to make the design independent of frequency not only the shunt resistance even you should connect a shunt inductance like this a shunt inductance like this brother i am not telling see please observe please this is just a coil like this r s h and l s h like this r s h and l s h like this please don't think that this inductor is shorted if you want i will erase this please don't think the inductor is shorted i can say the design is like this hope you got the clarity sir fine yes why we are connecting this shunt resistor why you are connecting this inductance if we connect this inductance then only my meter is independent of frequency if not my meter depends on frequency sir why because you can observe if you are giving 5 amps 50 h if you are giving the same 5 amps some 100 h the impedance offered only by this is different suppose if we have zm here and some zsh here the net reactance will be cancelled out fine the frequency effect will be nullified so what value of rsh what value of lsh we have to connect what value of rsh and what value of lsh rsh value is rm by m minus 1 rm is this value what is m sir required current range by available current range i repeat required current range by available current range just by substituting these values is little waiting the value of m next what is the value of lsh sir i am not doing the derivation here just you follow the procedure in parallel voltage is same i want my meter or this currents let us call this current as im let us call this current as im let us call this current as some i fine sir right call this current as some ish current division should take place only based on these resistance values only based on these resistance values but it should not depend on these inductances for that what we have to do is time constant of the shunt coil equals to time constant of the meter if time constant of shunt coil equal to time constant of the meter my current division will takes place only based on rm and rsh means tau lsh means what we can write lsh by rsh equals to lm by rm if examiner asks the value of lsh lm by rm into rsh so what is the conclusion here is yes. design of a meter design of a meter how we get rsh value rm by m minus 1 how we get lsh value lm by rm into rsh lm by rm into rsh find yes right now let us go with that problem this is what the question given a 0 to 1 ampere moving iron ammeter has an internal resistance of 50 milli ohms and inductance of 0.1 milli henry a shunt coil is connected a shunt coil is connected to extend its range to 0 to 10 amperes for all the operating frequencies the time constant in milliseconds and resistance in milli ohms of the shunt coil respectively are fine sir direct application of formulas what is rsh formula rm by m minus 1 come on engineers what is the value of rm given here 50 milli ohms by what is m sir required current range is 10 available current range is 1 what is the multiplication factor m here it is 10 so which is 9 50 by 9 5.55 milli ohms 5.55 milli ohms even he asked the resistance value in milli ohms which we got next he is asking for time constant what is time constant sir just we said time constant in moving iron ammeter what is that lm by rm or lsh by rsh time constant of mi ammeter lm by 
rm time constant equals to what the value of lm please 0.1 milli henry by what the value of rm sir 50 what is the value of rm please 50 milli ohms and even he is asking the time constant 0.1 by 50 milli ohms what is the value sir 0.1 divided by 50 yeah it is 2 milliseconds 2 milliseconds since he asked the question in milliseconds 2 comma 5.55 would be your answer fine sir next cue please the deflection angle of the pointer of an ideal moving iron ammeter is moving iron ammeter is 20 degrees for 1 ampere DC current for 1 ampere DC current if a current of 3 sin 314 T is passed through the ammeter then the deflection angle is dash so from the basics what is theta theta is proportional to I square fine yes theta 1 by theta 2 equals to i1 by i2 whole square so what is theta 1 given 20 degrees theta 2 is asking for theta 2 equals to 20 degrees into i2 by i1 so 3 sin 314 t sir please remember the statement pmmc instrument measures what value average value mi instruments Measures what value? RMS values. RMS value. PMMC instrument is an average measuring, average indicating instrument whose scale is linear. Works only for DC inputs. MI instrument is an RMS measuring, RMS indicating instrument whose scale is non-linear. Works both for AC and DC inputs. That's why the question given here. DC as well as AC. 20 degrees into I2 by I1 sir. What is I2 RMS? 3 sin 314 t what is rms 3 by root 2 by come on what is dc current sir 1 ampere 1 whole square what you get 20 degrees into 9 by 2 180 by 2 theta 2 is 90 degrees option d is correct fine sir next cue please right before going to this question Please have a look into this data. Mm, fine. Sir, the design of PMI ammeter is completed. Now let's go with design of MI voltmeter. A beautiful entry question is asked here. MI voltmeter. This is what the basic uh, MI instruments RM and LM, RM and LM by connecting some resistance in series by connecting some resistance in series right by connecting some resistance in series we can extend the range of the instrument but this design is having one problem what is that problem sir this design is having frequency problem if we give same voltage with different frequencies the indication will be different the indication will be different simple analysis here reactive element is there if frequency changes reactance changes once reactance changes net impedance changes voltage by net impedance current changes for the same applied voltage two different indications will be given my meter is depending on frequency to make the meter independent of frequency what we have to do is we have to connect a capacitor in parallel to the instruments doubt comes for the student sir why the capacitor should not be connected in series why the capacitor should not be connected in series right why we should not connect this capacitor in series sir? why this design is wrong please know if you connect that capacitor in series my circuit will be under my circuit will be frequency independent only at resonance condition my circuit is frequency independent only at resonance condition series rlc circuit under resonance condition impedance offered by circuit is minimum current that flows in the circuit is maximum once maximum current flows in the circuit my circuit fastly saturates i repeat my statement if you connect the capacitor in series my circuit is independent of frequency only at what condition resonance condition 
Series RLC circuit under resonance condition. Impedance offered by circuit is minimum. Once impedance is minimum, current at flow circuit is maximum. Once current is maximum, core fastly saturates. Core fastly saturates. Hope you all know this diagram even. Yes. Series RLC circuit under resonance condition. Impedance is minimum. Current that flows in circuit is maximum. This is I max. Whereas impedance of circuit that is not impedance here yes now current is maximum this is omega fine sir whereas parallel rlc circuit what happens parallel rlc circuit current that flows in the circuit is minimum current that flows in circuit is minimum parallel rlc circuit once current is minimum see here both problems are solved if you operate at this point yes my frequency problem is solved Frequency problem is solved, even current is minimum. Current is minimum. Doubt comes for the student. Sir, I want to operate at this point, sir. Yes, if you operate at this point, current is minimum. I also agree. If you operate at this point, current is minimum than this, further lesser than this, but frequency problem is not solved. So, for both the problems to be solved, frequency problem as well as the mag current problem, if you operate or if you connect this capacitor in parallel, yes, our problem is solved. My circuit is independent of frequency as well as current that flows the circuit is minimum. Sir, you are not going the derivation. What value of C we can connect? Lm by Rse square approximately C exactly equals to 0.41 Lm by Rse square. Even similar formula we will get where? Where sir? Measurement of power. Measurement of power, LPF watt meter. LPF watt meter, yes, it is facing error due to pressure coil inductance. For that, what we are doing is, we are connecting the capacitance to the post of the multiplier resistance of value 0.41 lm by RSE square. Fine sir, both the cases will get the same formula. Direct values will be given, LM value will be given, RSE value will be given, direct substitution gives the value of C. Fine sir, right. So let's go with next question. Uh, next question. Coming to EMMC instrument. What is EMMC instrument? Electromagnet moving coil instrument. Electromagnet moving coil instrument. What is the working principle, sir? Mutual inductance between the coils. What inductance? Mutual inductance between the coils. Control. Spring control. Yes. What type of damping? Air friction damping. What is the deflection torque equation? Deflection torque equation I square dm by d theta. What type of controlling place? Spring control Kc into theta. At steady state, at steady state, Tc equals to Td. Come on, engineers, what do you get? Kc into theta equals to what? I square dm by d theta. So here, theta equals to I square by Kc into dm by d theta. Fine, sir. Right. Please have a look into this data. The DC current flowing in a circuit is measured by 2 ammeters. One is PMMC, another one, electrodynamometer type connected in series. Means you are measuring some current through 2 meters. One is PMMC, other one is what? EMMC instrument. The PMMC contains 100 tons. The flux in the air gap is <coughs> 0.2 Weber per meter square. And the area of the coil is, <coughs> excuse me, 80 mm square. The electrodynamometer meter has a change in mutual intense with respect to deflection as 0.5 milli Henry per degree. The spring constants of both the meters are equal, equal. The value of the current at which Deflections of both the meters are same is beautiful question, sir, which links a PMMC as well as EMMC instrument. Fine. Right. So first to know, please, what is theta in PMMC instrument? Theta equals to B I N A Bina by K C. Next, what is theta in case of let us call this as theta of PMMC instrument? Theta of EMMC instrument. I square by Kc dm by d theta. What is saying? The deflections of both the meters are same. Deflections are same means, can I equate these thetas? Can I equate these thetas? Yes. 
once you equate this theta what you get ds please tell me once you are equating what you get bina by kc equal to i square by kc dm by d theta just even examiner said spring constants are equal i can cancel this kc and kc fine sir bina b i n a equals to i square dm by d theta he is asking for this i value i one times i here gets cancelled finally my i equals to b n a by dm by d theta gives you the value of i gives you the value of i substitute the values and get the answer what is b given here <coughs> excuse me what is the value of b given sir 0.2 vapor per meter square. I am substituting here. Let me write here. 0.2 vapor per meter square into number of turns. 100 into area 80 mm square. 80 into 10 power minus 6 by yes 0.5 milli Henry per degree. 0.5 into 10 power minus 3. This is what the value of I. By doing this, I value calculator, yeah. 0.2 into 100 into 80 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 0.5 into 10 power minus 3. It is some 3.2 amperes. 3.2 amperes. Answer is 3.2 amperes, this I value. 3.2 amperes. Find yes. Next Q, please. Next Q, yes. The inductance of a 25 amps electrodynamic ammeter changes uniformly at the rate of 0.035 micro Henry per degree. The spring constant is 10 power minus 6 Newton meter per degree. The angle of deflection at full scale will be. Simple here. What is Tc? At steady state, Tc equals to Td. Kc into theta equal to I square dm by d theta. He is asking for this theta ds. Kc value given how much? 10 power minus 6 Newton meter per degree into theta equals to I square value given. 25 square into what is dm by d theta given sir? 0 0.0035 that's substitution of value 0 0.0035 micro henry <clears throat> 10 power minus 6 10 power minus 6 per degree 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 pencil 10 power minus 6 10 power minus 6 pencil so from this theta equals to 25 square into 0 0.0035 <clears throat> 25 square into 0 0.0035 the value we got in terms of radians 2.1875 radians options given in terms of degrees into 180 degrees by pi so one second yes yes some calculation 25 square into 0 0.0035 into 180 by pi so 125 degrees 125.33 it is approximately 125 degrees next curious the moving iron type voltmeter three moving iron type voltmeters are connected as shown below voltmeter readings are v1 v comma v1 and v2 as indicated the current relation among the voltmeter reading is dash the current relation find s yes. <coughs> let us say the voltage is supply voltage as some VC. Supply voltage as some VC. Or let us take uh, this voltage as some VRMS. It is network's question, dears. Two meters connected in series. We can apply voltage division. So, voltmeter reading V1 equals to capital V into capital V into or VRMS into minus J1 by j2 minus j1 simply it is j1 so what you got sir minus v rms next what is v2 you got v rms into j2 by j1 so this is two times v rms finally tell me please which relation matches here 
what relation matches here v1 is minus vrms v2 is two times vrms what could be the relation so if you feel vrms equals to 2 vrms minus vrms 2 vrms is given by second voltmeter vrms given by first voltmeter v2 minus v1 matches here Find the network question, simple network question. Or you can also feel, say some eye current flows through this. And you are, similarly you calculate. Still you get the same relation. Next, a DC voltage with the ripple is given by 100 plus <coughs> 10 sin omega t minus 5 sin 3 omega t volts. Measurement of this voltage V of t made by moving coil as well as moving iron voltmeters. Shows reading of V1 and V2 respectively. Okay. V1 and V2 respectively. The effective value of V2 minus V1 in volts is dash. Sir, as said, my PMMC instrument is an average measuring instrument. So, moving coil V1. V1 equals to. Tell me please. What is the average value of this expression? Average value of this expression. 100 volts. A0 plus A1 sin omega t plus a2 sin omega 2t omega 1t omega 2t suppose expression is like this say what is average value here a0 what is rms value root over individual rms square like a0 square plus what is rms of this a1 by root 2 whole square means a1 square by 2 plus a2 square by 2 just substitute these values what is v2 here root over 100 square plus 10 square by 2 plus 5 square by 2 root over yes please value calculate please 100 square plus 10 square by 2 50 plus 25 by 2 12.5 under root root over answer 100.31 volts 100.312 Find this value. I am not writing, sir. Right, writing here. 100.312. This is your V2 value. Finally, what is V2 minus V1? 100.312. 312 minus 100. 0.312 is your answer. 0.312 is your answer. Any difficulty in these problems? Nothing, yes. Directly just remembering the formulas. M I instrument half I square DL by D theta. M M C instrument I square DM by D theta. That's it. So we have one object question which I wish to discuss. Mm, what is the condition that has to be satisfied for the scale to be linear in M I instrument? In moving iron instrument, in M I instrument, in M I instrument, the condition to be satisfied, the condition to be satisfied for scale to be linear for scale to be a linear fine sir what is td equation half i square dl by d theta yes sir no yes linear instruments in pmmc instrument you tell me what is relation between theta and current theta is proportional to y means theta equals to some k1 into y so in place of y what i can write sir some k2 into theta see i equal to theta by k1 some k2 into theta some k2 into theta yes at steady state tc equals to td kc into theta equal to half i square dl by d theta please substitute this i value over here and check for the condition Tell me sir what you are getting kc into theta equal to half into k2 square into theta square dl by d theta theta once theta gets cancelled here so finally what you are getting sir finally please this 2 is constant 2 kc is constant 2 kc by k2 square equals to theta into dl by d theta theta into dl by d theta theta into dl by d theta what is this term please this is completely constant so what is the conclusion here if theta dl by d theta is constant even in my instrument the condition is the condition to be satisfied 
इन अम्मा इंस्ट्रूमेंट फॉर स्केल टू बी लीनियर इज थीटा डीएल बाई डी थीटा ओके इफ थीटा डीएल बाई डी थीटा इज कॉन्स्टेंट इन अम्मा इंस्ट्रूमेंट यस इवन द स्केल अम्मा इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज लीनियर दिस इज वॉट अबाउट अम्मा इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन विद दिस द बेसिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज कंप्लीटेड थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट